Hi, my name is Ashley, and today I'm going to be giving a tour of my new bi-weekly paycheck spreadsheet. This template will be available in my Etsy shop. If you purchase, you will receive an instruction download, and inside of that download, there will be a link for you to access your copy of the spreadsheet. Please ensure that you click the Make a Copy button so that you'll have a clean template for your own personal use. So let's get started. So first we're going to come to the Instructions tab. And it will go in detail on how to enter in your data and it also give you screenshots and show you what's automated and what isn't automated. And it will also explain what each tab is and there's a total of seven tabs on this spreadsheet. So the first tab after instructions is the bill calendar. Here you will enter in your bills and due dates. So to enter information, enter it here under the date and bill section. So you don't want to enter it in on the actual calendar or it would not populate, it will mess up the entire formula. So just to ensure you just enter your due date here and your bill information here and that will make it populate. So to update the calendar for the next month, you will click the date that's under Sunday. And if I want to do it for July, um, you can start from here or you can do July 2nd. So it's not going to show right now uh, any of the dates that we have already entered because it's this was for June. So to make it populate for July, you'll just change it the due dates. And it will automatically populate it for you. So also on this bill calendar, um, there's a section for you to add in notes and there's a section for you to do your to-do list and this information won't populate on the calendar but it's here if you have any um, items that you would like to be reminded of like doctor's appointments or something of that nature. So the next tab is the bill list. The bills you enter here will also populate on the monthly and the bi-weekly paycheck budget. So this will help you save time when you're adding in information. So on this tab, you will add the, the bill, um, the due date, and the amount. And once you paid for that bill, um, you'll just click the checkbox and that'll just let you know that you have already paid the bill um, for that month. Also on this tab, you will be able to see um, the total of all your bills here. So that will look like this. And it will just populate um, right here under the bill total. And you have about 70 um, rows of bills that you can enter. And it will um, total up all the bills all the way up to the 70th row. All right, so the next tab is the savings and debt list tab. And this is very similar to the bill list tab. The only difference is you'll just be entering your savings and debts information. Um, and this will also show you the total for your savings and for your debts as well. So moving on to the next tab is the sinking fund tracker. You will enter in your financial saving goals um, in this section. So you will enter the name of the goal, the start date, the end date, and your goal amount. Then you will enter in your contributions here 
for your specific goal. And then it will automatically populate the information for the contributions and remaining in your progress tracker here. So I'm going to do this. And if you don't have an end date, you don't have to enter that in. So this will show you automatically um, your progress of that particular goal and this page will hold um, 10 goals saving goals or sinking fund goals that you may have here All right and the next tab is the monthly budget so each category has a drop down box with the information that we previously entered on the bill list and the savings and debt list um, for the pie chart to populate, there must be two lines of information for that specific category. So that will look like this. So we have mortgage, and we'll say it's a thousand dollars. Car. And it will start populating um, your chart here, your pie chart here. Okay. So on the left hand side, you have a calendar, and that'll just be for the easy reference um, for your bills, so you can see the dates. Um, under that, we have income, and that's just the income summary, and that will automatically be populated uh, from this information here. So it will show you your income here and that's just the, the expected amount and then when you add in your actual amount that will populate here. And this is your left to spend. It's the same as the income. Um, this information here will be pulled from the savings, sinking funds, bills, and debts um, category. And this will show you what you will have left to, to spend if you budget it for. And then this side will show you what you actually um, spent or allocated to. So the last tab is the bi-weekly budget tab. And this tab has two paychecks and it looks very similar to the monthly budget. The difference is you're breaking the bills down and entering them to the specific paycheck. So on the left we have the calendar. Next we have the first paycheck section. At the top of the paycheck, it will tell you what you have left to spend. You will enter in your income for that particular paycheck here. In this section, you will put what you, uh, your estimator or what you think you may have coming in. And you'll do the same for the savings, um, the sinking funds, debts, and bills. And the sinking funds. Um, you'll put that information also under the savings and debts list. So once you paid the bills, um, you'll have a checkbox that if you like to use, you can check off that you paid that bill for the month. So each paycheck also includes a summary of each category. So you can get a visual of what you have been allocated for that category. So that is right here. For example.
and that will populate right here. And it'll be the same for the sinking funds, the debts, and bills. And it will show what you have left to spend. Then it will be the same um, scenario for paycheck two. You'll just enter in your income, your savings, sink of funds, debts, and bills information. And it will show you what you have left to spend and the summary of each category. So that's it for the tour of the spreadsheet. Um, just if you like to duplicate the budget, um, if you want to show it for maybe July, um, all you have to do is click the tab and then you'll hit duplicate. And feel free to rename it if you like. And to change the date on the calendar, it's up to you if you like to change it. Um, you'll just double click into this white area and select the, the start of that month and it will automatically update the calendar and then you'll just go from there and enter in your paycheck information for that particular month. Um, also if you start when you start entering in or duplicating anything as far as like the budgets and you have more tabs um, you can click here so you can get a, a bigger view um, of all the tabs that you have so you won't have to scroll left and right. You can just click here and it will show it in the list view um, compared to going left and right. So that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.